We're joined today by Stephen Yatomi Clark, CEO of Present Therapeutics. Stephen, thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. For those who don't know the business, what's the pitch? What, what is Prescient all about? We're all about personalised therapies for cancer. Not all people are the same and nor are their cancers. I think we're seeing the beginning of the end of indiscriminate ways to treat cancer, chemo, radiation and therapy uh, and, uh, and surgery, albeit they'll always have a place. But we're seeing now the shift to personalised medicine, which is having a big dent on how we treat cancer. And a number of recent milestones. That's right. So our biggest one is, and our lead program is PTX 100, which is a targeted therapy in a group of cancers called T-cell lymphomas. It's a rarer disease. Sam Neill, the actor, has um, shone a light on this disease when he came forward recently that he is, he is battling with this as well. And it's an underserved disease in that there are not many new therapies. The therapies that are there don't work very well. And what we're seeing in our trial right now is it's exceeding expectations about what you would normally want to see with existing therapy. So that's a, a big catalyst for us coming up as the completion of that study later this year. And where to? Once that's completed, what's the next step? What should investors be focused on? That's a good question. Um, typically in drug development, it's phase one, is it safe? Phase two, does it work? And then there's a big confirmatory phase three study called a registration study that you normally take to a regulator, say, can I, you know, do I have permission to approve this? Because this disease is rare, our next trial, it's going to be truncated right down. We're hoping our phase two trial, which we're starting next year, will actually be that registration study. That would make Pressy not only the only company on the ASX with a registration study in oncology, but I think the first one in about 10 years. Is Big Pharma watching? This is clearly something of interest. I think it's fair to say that Big Pharma know what we're doing, um, but in these rarer diseases that are often unfashionable for larger companies, the gaps are filled by still very large specialty pharma companies who, contrarians who look where others aren't looking and that's where we're playing as well. I think the, the point is that the benchmark is set relatively low for what is out there, but the prices are set very high. So you can earn a very good living if you're successful in these rarer diseases because the prices are actually quite high and the disease is unmet. A lot of work in this area occurring next year, but you're also looking at cell therapies and cell therapeutics. Can you talk to that? That's right. That's the, the next wave of innovation in, in personalised medicine. The most personalised medicine is someone's own cells. And we're harnessing the power of the body's own immune cells to direct it against cancer. We call that loosely CAR-T, although there's many iterations of it. And we've got two platform technologies. One is called Cell Prime, which is ready for the clinic, and our development is um, tailing off to an end um, in the lab and ready for the clinic. That's super exciting. And we also have another modular platform called Omnicar, which is making these cells controllable. And between both of these platforms, it positions us quite well because the field's exploding difficult for investors and developers to know which one's going to win, but our platforms will assist all of them. So we've got a dog to fight no matter which cell is someone's using or which target they're using. So positions us quite well to sell shovels in the gold rush, if you like. World-class technologies, significant global opportunity, clear path forward, and a strong news flow coming. Exciting times ahead for Prescient and its shareholders. Stephen, thanks for your time. Thank you very much for your time.